In the movie Moneyball, Billy Bean is the general manager of the Oakland A's, and a general manager is the guy who picks the players who are going to be on the team, and so he turns them over to the manager and they play. We wanted to do something very new and different, and it met with tons of opposition. It turns out that now has caught on. It's the way general managers put together teams in Major League Baseball today. You say, well, that's great, Bob. What does that have to do with anything? Well, today we're going to look at 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 19 through 22, or 23, excuse me. And Paul says to the Jews, he became a Jew, to the those under the law, he became as one though under the law. To the weak, he became weak. He did all that, he became all things to all people. He culminates it in verse 22. He says, "So that I might win some." Okay, well that's great. We, we don't, you know, we're not going to become like a Jew or under the law. How's, how's that apply to you and me today? The way that applies is that we innovate and we get with the times. Back in the day. We used to go door to door, knock on doors, ask people, if you died right now, are you 100% sure you go to heaven? And we would, we would have them uh, come to Christ right there on their doorstep. And that's just not the way things are today. Our methods need to change with the times to keep up with the times. We become all things to all people so that we might be effective in the gospel. How do people dress today? Let's dress like they do. You know, obviously we want to be modest, but I'll give you an example. I co-teach a class on Sunday morning at our church. I have a nice suit, nice ties, and I love to wear ties. I don't wear a suit and tie. Why? Because that's just not the way people dress anymore today. I don't want to separate myself and, and, and look like something uh, separated and set apart for those that come, might be new and coming to our class. I want to go, hey, that's somebody I can identify with. And that's what Paul is saying. Paul is saying, identify with those in, around you so that you can show them that, yes, Christ can do something for them as well. Innovating would be taking the, the, the tools that we have today and using them. Why do I put out these videos and why do I put out devotionals every day? Because it's the way we reach people now through social media. It's another avenue that we can reach people that we didn't have before. In the 70s, 80s, 90s, reaching people through the internet, well, you really couldn't do anything that Al Gore had not invented the internet yet. My point is, use the tools that are available to you today to reach people and to help them and to encourage them. Remember, God's purpose is to draw others to himself. Actually, he wants to draw the whole world to himself. He does that through you and I coming alongside the world we live in and, and, and being like them, not being worldly, but showing that our lives are no, not much different than theirs. And the second way is that we use technology that's innovated for us. We use it to be able to spread the word and encourage others. Don't be stuck where you used to be. Become all things to all people so that you might win some. Want to read the whole devotional? Go to the link at the bottom of the page and we'll see you tomorrow.